Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to Project Ozone 3. Um, yes, I've been busy, as you can see. I'm outside and I cleared all the space. I put up all the fence. Um, I started working on mystical agriculture because in order to progress in this pack, you need, I, I need, I need to get certain types of seeds. Um, and also when I went in this morning, there's been an update. Um, there's no more blood moons, which is totally awesome because now, you know, now what? Well, a lot of this fence is no longer needed because basically I put it so high so that, you know, when I was out here, when stuff spawned out there, it wouldn't see me, all that kind of stuff. But I don't need half of it anymore. But, um, but yeah, so there's no blood moons, which is good. There's a few other things that were taken out in, in the update. But, um, but yeah, I've had to have a real think about what I want to do with this mod pack. Because when we left off last time, I needed to find black quartz. And I went mining for it, couldn't find it. Um, I discovered a way of making black quartz through Britannia because I did want to go via Britannia to make a... When I went to make the Petal Apo Apothecary, that was a whole different recipe change. So, um... I went looking for, I went looking, you know, on YouTube for different videos and so on. And, um, yeah, I found out that you can use Britannia and you can make, let me see, black quartz. Because when I was looking, I was looking under the block. But then if I actually looked under the... The ore, if I can find it in this, is that it? No. No. If I looked under black quartz itself, then yeah, I can make smoky quartz, which is another quartz surrounded by coal. No, yeah, surrounding a piece of coal or charcoal. And that can give you smoky quartz. And then when you smelt that, that gives you black quartz, which is awesome. So I did that. And I made the atomic reconstruction reconstructor. So I can, I could make, um, what did I want it? I wanted to make void, void crystals. <coughs> Excuse me. So I did all of that. Um, oh, I also put in a texture pack. This is, um, what is this one? I can't remember. A re yeah. A little taste of germ. Germ, J-E-R-M. And I like that. It's a really nice one. But I did that. Um, I made the sieving table. And I was going to put it all on camera, but then I couldn't get the hopper hooked up to the auto sifter. No matter how I tried, it would always hook it up underneath and like merge the two of them. So in the end, I had to put in an item duct. And basically, I've got my cobble gen into a hopper into the pulverizer, which makes gravel and sometimes sand that travels into the storage crate which shoves it into the sieve and then I've put everything in here because I really needed to get, um, well, I wanted to get diamonds and redstone. I had sieved a lot of, a lot of sand to make red, to get redstone because I needed a lot of redstone. But that brings me to the other bit of this pack and that is it, it is really, 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 really grindy. I mean, I can spend literally days preparing for a video, which it isn't all that brilliant and I'm not having a lot of fun with it. I mean, I'm now getting to the point 
of the pack where I've got I'm I mean like I said I'm started the seeds and the myst mystical agriculture, which I've never done, which is fine. Um, so why won't I jump? No. Nope. Yeah, that's why pressing the wrong key. So I've started that, but I mean it I it took a lot to learn what to do and I still don't think I'm doing it correctly, which is a real pain. And then also um, the quest books changed uh, back the quest books changed the colors have changed for one and also some of the quest lines have changed so now in the rewards there's more and the alpha has definitely changed because now you get something for the furnace upgrades oh wait oh I did some of these upgrades although it let me claim it Okay, that's interesting. It let me claim it, even though it says incomplete. All right. I mean, I'm 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 not arguing. <laughs> I'm definitely not arguing. Did I do the endist furnace? I don't remember doing the endist furnace. Maybe I did. I don't know. But um. But yeah. So some of some of the quests. Have been overhauled and stuff, but to get into anything else, I need to go. I need to get into embers, and I'm really having a hard time wrapping my head around that one. And it doesn't really help that a lot of the recipes have been changed. So it's yeah, I'm not. Not having a fun time playing this so um i think what i will do oh i didn't know i could stand on this can i stand on your head buddy no oh he jumps out of the way can we do that again can you jump on your head no anyway right i think what i'm going to do i think i'm going to put this one to rest this mod pack i don't really want to give it i might play it on my own time where I could sit down and actually learn stuff but I'm what's been bugging me is is um because they've changed a lot of the recipes I am having a hard time learning how to do things like embers and well mystical agriculture hasn't changed but there's other stuff I'm having a really hard time learning what to do in order to progress in the pack so I think for now I'm going to give it a rest. I'm going to finish this series and find something that isn't as grindy. And um, yeah, I think I might come back to it at some point. But at the moment I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a rest because, like I said, I'm not really having fun. I could literally spend, you know, eight hours just preparing for the pack so that I could have something to put up on screen. And then, like I said, trying to learn... Are these all... These are all one one ones, yeah. Um, I could spend eight hours just trying to get something decent so that I can, you know, I have... I can, I can be at a point to say, well, okay, well, let's do this next thing. And I didn't spend the whole video just crafting things and so on. So, um, so yeah, I think I will probably do this by myself when I have time. And I'm still going to try and look for a pack that does have embers and all these other things, but not with the recipe changes. If it was, if they didn't have so many recipe changes, I think, yeah, I would have been okay with it. But with all the recipe changes and so on, it's, yeah, I'm just finding it way too grindy. And not very fun and if you're not having fun playing a game then you know you shouldn't really play it because there's not much point so yes i will put this one to rest i mean it's been fun so far i've learned a lot but it's ultimately not for me and i will be on the lookout for a another mod pack to play so keep your eyes peeled i will have something up on the 
up on my channel very soon and um, thanks for watching I hope you have liked this series and that you will subscribe for more content and I'll have something up very soon okay thanks bye bye